Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm feeling a little exhausted. Um, forgot to mute that over there for a second. Um, I went to the zoo today. My sister-in-law and our nieces came. And there is a really, really nice zoo in our town. So we went there, it was great. It was a little chilly, but uh, we walked around a lot. I'm feeling very, very exhausted, but I was also really excited to stream today. So here we are. Today is the day. I'm thinking that we are going to come very close to completing our squad because today is the day I think Lucius is going to evolve. As you know, I have been trying to get Lucius's friendship up, and it is a huge endeavor, one that takes, like, a lot of your playthrough, honestly. And I've gotten tons of haircuts, I've gotten tons of vitamins, I've made sure Lucius never faints. Um, so I have been... Let's see, make sure I pick Lucius. I have been giving Lucius haircuts on days that I'm not streaming, just pop it on for two seconds and making sure I get the haircut for that day. So if you recall, last time we spoke, which I believe was Wednesday, um, Lucius had finally gotten the news from this here friendship checker lady. She says, I get the feeling that it really trusts you, which means that its friendship is over 200. Now, it needs 220 friendship to evolve, and I'm hoping that we are there. Um, so we're definitely going to try to get that done today. Um, another thing that we're going to do is that we are finally, finally going to catch our final team member, which I'm very, very excited about. It's something that we could not do until the daytime, and again... Uh, I'm usually streaming at night during during the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop down into this grass. And there are a lot of trainers here that we will come back to. We're probably going to like really sweep through a lot of trainers on this. Um, on this stream, we'll probably get to some of the... Oh, yes, thank you. I am also glad I get to do my day things. Um... So we're probably, let me start with, I'm going to start with, I'll probably start with Margo just because we can use that paralysis. Um, so what was I saying? Yes, we're probably going to work our way, ooh, Gliger, very interesting Pokemon. So, sorry, we'll probably work, work our way through some trainers, probably get into Claire's gym, which is really cool. Um, so Gliger is a flying and ground type, which is a pretty oxymoronic typing. Oh, and I can't escape. The thing about Margo is that she's really slow. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that is a cool Pokemon you can find on this route, but we are looking for one specific Pokemon, not Geodude. Um, it is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. It is a flying and steel type, but here we have Dawnfan, which is another one of my faves. Um, it's a pure ground type. It's really cool. I remember Dawn Fan is in the first Pokemon movie before Gen 2 was officially revealed. So it was one of like the first Johto Pokemon that we ever saw. Um, but yeah, seeing Gligar and Dawn Fan here so often is awesome. Um, I believe the Pokemon that we are looking for, and if you're familiar with Crystal, you know that Pokemon is Skarmory. Um, I have been anticipating getting a Skarmory this entire run. I've really, really wanted to use it. Um, and that will be our new flyer. Um, we won't have to use Pogo the Hoot Hoot anymore. Um, and really, a lot of my favorite Pokemon of all time are Johto Pokemon. This is just my favorite region, my favorite game. And I believe Skarmory is a 10% encounter on this route, so... It's not, like, super impossible to find, but it's going to be pretty rare. I am actually going to double-check that, just to be sure. Um, and again, and this is actually kind of good, because if we're just t doing steps like this, you can actually get a little more friendship on your Eevee, or, or on any Pokemon, when you do a bunch of walking. 
Oh, it's actually a 5% encounter in the morning or the day. Um, I actually want to make sure we're on the right route. Because right now, let's look at our map on our Poke Gear. Yes, we are on Route 45. Yeah, Route 46 is down there. Route 45 is where we can find Skarmory. I was just making sure because we hadn't found any yet. Um, and they did another flying and steel type in Generation 8. Um, that was Corviknight, which is also a dope Pokemon. Um, but Skarmory was the Ridge. It's one of the original steel types because the steel type was first created in this game, which is amazing. Um, and yeah, like I said, searching around for a Skarmory is kind of nice. Um, so hopefully we can get that last bit of friendship, if we even need it, on our um, Eevee. But as we do this, I might... Uh, I'll go ahead and turn off my sound for now, just because it can be a little, a little annoying as I'm speeding up through some of these. Um, but uh, how is everyone's day as I go through this? Um, yeah, I kind of describe my day. I'm really happy that it's Saturday. Um, I usually like streaming a little earlier on Saturdays, but like I said, we went to the zoo. It was a really, really busy morning for us. Um, but it was great. Our nieces are super cute. There he is. So, there is Skarmory. Um, love this Pokemon. Level 27, that's great. Um, we have someone, I actually forget what their full name is. I always, I always call you Tech, because there's a little bit more to your name, but the first part is Tech, so I always just call you Tech. So, Tech... I promised that I would name a Pokemon after you, and I'm going to name this Skarmory after you. Um, let's see. Let's just see what a Headbutt does. Yeah, it's not going to do a lot. Skarmory has really good defense, and that Steel-type is going to um, resist our normal-type moves here. Um, yeah, we still have some Ultra Balls and Great Balls left over from when we were going to try to catch... Um, Suicune, so we should have enough to get this done. Mmm. Hoobie. All right. Ooh. Let's see. Uh, if you remember Gen 1, there's a badge boost glitch where agility can be really good. That flinch is great to see. One raid should get it into the red. Love to see it. I would crit. Um... So, as you can see, Skarmory doesn't have a ton of great moves. And that's kind of the thing with Skarmory in this game. I love it, but it doesn't really have many good moves to use. Um, yo! Hey, how's it going? Dogleg Media. Okay, awesome. Thank you! Thank you for, for tuning in. I'm really glad that you could catch the stream, too. Um, we're just picking up our last team member here. We're picking up this Skarmory. Um... We're going to name her after a diligent stream watcher named Tech. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, very nice. Appreciate you. Um, <laughs> yeah, you tuned in at the, right, at the right time. The feathers that it sheds are very sharp. It is said that people once used the feathers as swords. I love Skarmory. Um... So this is the time where I would take a nickname, but I have promised that our friend Tech would get this name. So there we go. Um, so we are gonna pick up our Skarmory. We're gonna go ahead and pop over to the Mahogany Town Pokemon Center. Um, and we'll deposit our friend Hoot Hoot, and we're gonna bring out our new friend, Skarmory. So, Pogo, that's fine. Um, I don't think we're going to need that. If we need it, I'll make sure I get it off of him. Oh, yeah, there's that cry. I missed that cry because uh, we were speeding up with the sound off. Um, but let's see. So first things first, um, I was describing how Skarmory doesn't really have very many good moves. 
So we are going to go ahead and give Tech Fly. Um, such a fan of Gen 2, a nice trip of nostalgia. I completely agree with you. Um, this game just makes me feel so very warm in my heart. And I play through these games all the time. Um, it is just such a relaxing time for me. I, I'll go ahead and get rid of Peck. Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get rid of Peck. But, uh... Skarmory does have access. It makes all the troubles of the world melt away. Ah, oh, right you are, my friend. Um, it really, really does. Um, I don't know what else Skarmory can learn. I don't think it can learn Iron Tail. It can learn Steel Wing, which is a new move in this generation, and kind of like a signature move of Skarmory. I know you can get a TM for it later. Um, I actually don't know when Skarmory learns Steel Wing. I actually have Skarmory up here, so let me look up. Um, Alright, so Skarmory gets Steel Wing at level 49. Um, and Skarmory is much more of like a defensive Pokemon. Um, but we're still going to use him because I love him. Alright. But now, uh, what exactly has to happen before you can give a Pokemon a nickname? Oh, um, really the only thing you have to do is catch it. Once you obtain a Pokemon, it always, always asks you if you want to nickname it. Um, but there are actually places where you can change the, the nickname if you decide that you don't like it after a while. Um, I think in this game, in Goldenrod City, you can change, um, change the nickname. So what we're going to do, we're going to give Lucius some time in the sun, because I'm really hoping um, that Lucius can... Oh, there we go. Um, Lucius can get that evolution. Oh, you do full item randomizer races of crystal. I have seen some of those. Um, I have seen some of those where, yeah, it's like, it's like a race and you have to get all the badges um, and certain items. Um, and once you get all those items, you can like access red. Yes, I have seen, um, I think uh, GDQ, I've seen some of those. Um, that is awesome. Oh, a great use of Shadow Ball here for our Eevee. We could use Bite as well if we want. Mmm! One shot, baby. But, uh, that is super cool. I have seen those and I really, really like those. Um, maybe one of these days I can do something like that. So, we're gonna go into tech here for Kadabra. I'm worried that Kadabra will do something too strong and Lucius is gonna die. I don't want to trip at the finish line here. Um... But it's also great because Tech, um, and just the Steel type in general, resists a lot of types. It was, you know, built to be like a super defensive type. Um, the types that are strong against it are Fire, Ground, and Fighting. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm, I don't think I'm missing any there. Um, we defeated Psychic Phil, but yeah. There were a lot of trainers on this route that we just kind of saved um, for when we picked up Skarmory. And here we are. Um, just hit your personal best yesterday, an hour and 26 minutes. My goodness, dude. Um, that is incredible. That is super fun. Um, gosh, I remember, I remember the one that I watched, it was like, like the seed that they got or like the, you know, the, the way it was randomized was really, really bad. <laughs> And they were, like, above time, which was funny. Um, but obviously, you know, they're pro runners, and it's just, it is what it is at that point. Uh, let's see if I can get some flinches going here. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. You pray for the storm badge and fly ASAP, yeah. Um, for, our, for our new people, the storm badge was Chuck over in Cianwood City, and then his wife gives you fly right after that. That's what happens in the normal game. But in this randomizer, those things could be anywhere, so you want to make sure you get those things early so you can, like, fast travel immediately for the item randomizer run. Yeah, I highly recommend checking some of those out. Um, I, I really enjoy um, Pokemon speedruns. I don't, like, watch them super often. Usually, like, when the GDQs come out, I will... I will check them out. Um, oh my gosh! Hello, Happy Math! 
thanks for checking it out. I'm happy you could catch a live stream as well. Yeah, so I, I find that sometimes these uh, these midday Saturday streams work for people. Um, thank you for being here. Um, we were just talking about speedruns. Um, oh, and that was Remoraid, by the way. I don't think we've seen... Oh, we have seen one of those, because I talked about how... Um, welcome, new peeps. Thanks, JJ. Um, I was talking about how in its original kind of like beta sprite, it was more based on a gun. And they made, they made it a little less gun-like. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh, your first item from Mom on your personal best was the Fly HM. That is, like, the best possible seed you could have gotten. That is incredible. Um, but thanks for being here, folks. Yeah, right now we're kind of just cleaning up some of these fights over here. We have... We'll probably get into Claire today. Oh, yeah, we'll get Texan here against this Butterfree. Got a nice matchup. Um, yeah, we'll get into Claire's gym a little bit today. Oh, no. This is fine. It's just very annoying. It's going to send out a random Pokemon now. Lapras! Well, you are about to face the Wrath of Pampras, because this will probably one-shot you. So, joke's on you. Ah. But yeah, the team is pretty much constructed at this point. Once we evolve Eevee into Espeon, which again, I'm really hoping we can do today. Um... The hard part will be out of the way. Bell Awesome. That is a great matchup for Tech. Um, looks like an incredible team. You are so right. Yeah, really what I wanted to do for this playthrough was, um, you know, I know... Let's see. IKR. I always try to catch it live, but the things never match, unfortunately. The live stream notification... Oh, great! I'm so glad. Um, oh, I know, right? <laughs> That's what you mean. <laughs> so here's Bell Awesome. It is the new evolution of Gloom in this game. It's like a split evolution. You can evolve it into Vileplume, like normal and yellow, or you can evolve it into Bell Awesome with a Sunstone, which I don't know if you guys caught it, but uh, back earlier in the playthrough, we won the bug catching contest and we got a Sunstone, which was awesome. Um, but something else that I was explaining, I'm so glad that missed, um, was when I started Ooh, charging up a Solar Beam. It's not going to do a lot of damage to a Skarmory. When I started playing uh, games on this channel, what I really wanted to do was just kind of like, just showcase some of the things that I loved about these games. Um, I don't really do challenges or anything, at least not yet. I, I'm just kind of new. I'm just starting. But um, I wanted to showcase some of my favorite Pokemon, some of like, the cool things that you can find and do specifically in Gen 2. Like, I wanted to do a friendship evolution here uh, with Eevee. I wanted to do a headbutt Pokemon with Heracross. Um, I wanted to use a Dunsparce because it's a Pokemon that you would never really think to use, and I specifically love it. Um, obviously, Cyndaquil is just a starter, but I love Typhlosion. Lapras is so cool because you can only get it on, like, Fridays in Union Cave. Um, and then Skarmory is just a personal favorite of mine. Um, but let's see. Um, oh, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for checking this out. This is so, this is so great. Um, <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to keep rolling on. I'm really hoping that the next level that Lucius gets is going to be our Espeon level. Um, oh my gosh, yes, thank you. It says, team consists of the coolest parts of the game that most people never really appreciate. That's what I, that's what I wanted to do. And I mean, there's some things like that I have limitations on. Like, I'm playing on an emulator, so I can't really showcase trade evolutions very well. I've kind of tried to... Dis uh, you know, describe them a little bit. Um, but just things like that. I just want to show things off for people. And I really hope that, you know, I know a lot of huge Pokemon fans will come check out the game just because they like seeing playthroughs. But I really hope that people who have never experienced the game before, never played the game before, um, will pick it up and play. Because I love this game a ton. And I just kind of wanted to create... A positive place 
to just showcase things that I love and hopefully other people can enjoy it too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, the headbutt, the headbutt mod specifically, and I was just saying, okay, I'm gonna get Lucius out of here. Okay, great. Because I don't want to mess with that. Um, I'm just gonna some Quill. Uh, something that is crazy about Heracross, I don't know if you guys know this or not, is that it can only show up on certain trees. Like, there's kind of like a random, kind of just like checkerboard of spaces where a Heracross could even ever appear on a tree. So, people can totally just like drive themselves, yeah, Azalea, Azalea Town or just outside it, but like, Specifically, there are some trees where just a Heracross just can never appear. And I feel like a lot of people who played this game for the first time, or like kids, probably drove themselves crazy looking for a Heracross, just not really realizing that they couldn't find one on that specific tree. Um, because it's based on your ID number, which is something that I never would have known about if not for the internet. Um, and I don't think I ever ran a Heracross as a kid. Um, so we're gonna pop just into the middle of this pond, and I think there's a Max Revive up in here. Um, <laughs> yes, I was saying um, a couple streams ago, Pokemon is my bread and butter, and that's really what I grew up playing. Ugh, Lickitung. Look at that freak. Um, but I mean, you know, Lickitung's just living his life. He's got a big old tongue. I can just leave him alone. I think this little island is the only place you can catch one in the game, which is pretty cool. Um, that's annoying, but that's okay. We're going to run, and it's going to be fine. Let's see. Um, honestly, though, Game Freak made a massive mistake with some of the gyms. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, I, I've i kind of been talking about that. Um, and I think a lot of their reasoning was like... They wanted this to be more of, like, a Gen 1 companion, I think, in their brains. Like, I talk about how all the Johto gym leaders are uh, the types that the, jo that the Kanto gym leaders didn't use. Um, and, like, one that I actually like, and I know a lot of people want Chuck to use a Hitmontop, but um, Chuck uses the fighting Pokemon from Kanto that Bruno doesn't, which I think is a pretty, that's, that's pretty cool. I like the concept of it, but um, there are a ton of Johto Pokemon, like you're saying, that they just never use, like Heracross. Like, Heracross would be great, but Bugsy doesn't even use, like, La Ladian or Ariados or even, like, Pineco Fortress, like, um... And it makes for a cool fight with like the Fury Cutter, um, like the Fury Cutter Scyther. Um, but yeah, there's just a lot of missed opportunities there. Um, and I know there was actually a new ROM hack that came out. It was called Crystal Legacy, where they kind of tried to make up for that a little bit. Not try to change Crystal too much, but like we gave. Falconer a, a knocked owl because that just makes sense for Falconer to have a knocked owl and just things like that and it's fun it, it was really really fun to play but it, I wanted to showcase the base one um, as I keep going I might get into stuff like that but I want to play some stuff that's not Pokemon 2 um, but I do you know I do want to play <laughs> they did make Whitney scary they gave her that mill tank baby um, and that mill tank is beefy. It is beefy and powerful. I think, yeah, we had a pretty, we had a pretty fun, uh, I don't remember what episode that was, but we had a pretty fun Whitney run. We had her on the ropes and then she used milk drink at the last second. It was like a real team effort. We were like using mud slap and paralysis and a whole bunch of stuff to make sure it didn't kill us. Um, yeah, really, t the only move Tex got right now is Fly. And that's alright. Fly's super useful. Swift to clean it up. Boom. First level on Tech. You love to see it. Um. Do 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 do. I will say, though, Morty should have a mis mistress. Like, 
I'm kind of, I'm lightly defending them, because I can at least, like, see their reasoning. But I do still agree with a lot of the criticisms levied. And, you know, again, I'm just very partial. <laughs> very partial, very nostalgic for it. Um, because it's funny, the first game that I played, uh, Bugsy, Bugsy is the big one. Because, e like, let's say the developers are like, okay, Bugsy's not gonna have a Heracross, Heracross is too strong. At least Bugsy should have one of the other many new bugs that are available. Yeah, Bug Bugsy for sure got done dirty. I will definitely agree with you there. Um, even though I feel like that section, Ariados even, yes, that's what I'm saying. That section of the game is probably my favorite part. It's Azalea, Azalea Town specifically feels so warm. And I love the Team Rocket episode at the Slowpoke Well. Okay, so Lucius is going to gain a level here. I'm really hoping this is Espeon. If not, we're going to try like one more vitamin and see if it does it. Alright. Moment of truth. Yes! Oh, look at that majestic creature. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. So wonderful. Love to see it. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> hey, now this is epic. You are so right. This has been a long time coming, trying to get Lucius to an Espeon. Oh, so great. And we are in under the, under the gun here because... I was really worried because I'm like, we gotta get Espeon before level 36. Because at level 36 is when Espeon learns um, Psybeam, and I didn't want to miss it. Um, so that is excellent. Awesome. Love to see it. Yeah, and again, I don't, uh, I don't remember if you guys were here or not, but I am like, on days that I don't stream, I am giving... Espeon haircuts <laughs> all the time. <laughs> um, I actually didn't realize that uh, you couldn't get, get haircuts on Mondays in this game. And playing through this again on stream has been interesting because I realized just how heavy they pounded the like time-based events. Because, you know, if you're doing a normal playthrough by yourself, you can play whenever you can play. But for me, I could only ever stream, you know, at certain times. And <laughs> it became very clear the day and night stuff. That's why I was so anticipating the stream today, because I'm like, okay, we gotta go catch Skarmory, and then we gotta hopefully evolve uh, Eevee into Espeon, because Espeon is my favorite evolution. Um, the bug catching contest is so fun. Yeah, I was saying, we won the Sunstone. Um, it was so cool. Um, I think we caught a pincer, and that's how we won. Um, what's your favorite evolution, folks? Um, and if you're watching us on YouTube, comment your favorite evolution. Oh, this is a fun thing. Um, not for me right now, but when you're flying in the air, Gus can still hit you, and I believe it does double damage, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Leafeon is yours. Interesting. That is not a that is not a selection that I see very often. But I think Leafeon's underrated. Um, yeah, es Espeon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, Umbreon. Those four Espeon's number one, but those other three are kind of like the next tier. Ah, oh, JJ likes Flareon. That's another kind of like low key choice. I don't hear enough. Um, oh, your daughter's name is Evie. Oh. That's so great. So maybe your favorite is Eevee. <laughs> or whatever. Once she, gets, once she gets older, she'll be a Leafeon, I guess, huh? Um, you can change her name. <laughs> Give her a... Take her to the mossy rock and make her Leafeon. Um, oh! The motto is that she can grow up to be whatever she wants to be. That is delightful. Oh, I love hearing that. 
Shiny Umbreon Supremacy. Hello, other Kryptonian. I am kind of with you there. Um, I'm extremely partial to Espeon and Umbreon specifically because I adore Gen 2. I'm so happy to be playing Gen 2 on, the, uh, on here. Um, but Shiny Umbreon, it's blue, right? Is the, the rings are blue on a Shiny Umbreon? Um, yeah, that's sick. Um, are there any trainers that we skipped through the region? I don't... Yes, they're blue. Awesome. Um, thanks for joining us today, by the way. Um, oh, there are a few trainers at Lake of Rage we can clean up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there are a couple trainers here. We... It's kind of annoying because we don't have access to an electric move. We're not really using an electric Pokemon on this run. Um, but once our Sinaiquil evolves, we can uh, teach it an electric move. And no, I'm not pronouncing Cyndaquil incorrectly. <laughs> On our first stream, we had someone call Cyndaquil Sinaiquil, which is hilarious. Um, but uh, yeah, Shiny Umbreon Supremacy. I, I'm, I'm with you there. I am a... That is awesome. I am an Espeon fan. Espeon fan through and through. Uh, we'll just use Rupert here. Rupert can kind of tear through these Magikarps with some strengths. Because um, they don't really offer a lot of experience anyway. There we go. Um, this, he might have a Gyarados. No, he has all Magikarp. Um, I just think the whole concept of the Lake of Rage is really cool. And how they have the red Gyarados in there. Um and how they're like being forced to evolve. I think, um, because I kind of talked about on a previous stream how um, this was supposed to be a town with, with its own gym, but I think the lore kind of goes, I think he has Gyarados, yeah. The lore kind of goes that the Gyarados like rampaged and tore down the town that was here. That's kind of what, um, they went with as like the lore for the game um and that might have been kind of like a pretty cool internal easter egg for the developers where they're just like yeah we couldn't put the town in the game so we're just gonna say it got tore down <laughs> ah dragon rage as a kid i thought your game was messed up because of the red gyarados dude i mean i get that completely just hit yourself just do it Love to see it. Oh my gosh, thank you for following! I appreciate that. There have been a couple times <laughs> where I've gotten... I'm going to swap out because a Dragon Rage will kill me. Um, where I have gotten notifications on there and I hadn't made the text big enough and I could not read it on stream. So thanks, other Kryptonian. Appreciate you. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yes, the Red Gyarados. Oh, it's so, so cool. Um... And, oh, there might be a little thing I can show off here. Do I have a Discord server? I actually don't. That's probably something I should have. Um, I'll make a note of that. Thanks for reminding me of that. I know a lot of people do. Um, maybe I can uh, create one and post that in the, in the info underneath here for the next stream. Um, but uh, that's good. That's a good note. Appreciate you. But uh, I do have a YouTube as well. It's this saying. Oh, yeah, that's how you discovered me, obviously. You, t you said that already. Um, but I I'll go ahead and plug it. <laughs> um, it's Silver Cave Gaming, just like this. Yes, we have one more trainer up here. Oh, oh darn. I came here for nothing. I know. Let's battle. Well, guess what, lady? I caught it. It is sitting in my PC. Um... Oh, it would be a fun way for the community to hang out. You post NASCAR content. That is very interesting. I know absolutely not one thing about NASCAR. I guess that's not entirely true. I just don't know much, much at all about it. Um, I know Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> I don't even know if he races anymore. Um, but uh, glad to follow. Awesome! Um, oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. Um... Yes, thank you so much. Um, let's see here. 
Ah, Ninetales. Not a very good matchup for my boy Skarmory. Let's, uh... I'm gonna let Sinaiquil get in on this. Um, oh my gosh. I'm so happy because once Sinaiquil evolves, that move set's gonna level up like crazy. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I love that I still have Mud Slap on him. Um, I taught that after the very first gym. <laughs> How much would a flame wheel do at this point? Yeah, literally. Oh, that's a crit. Uh, funny enough, the content is on the history of sport. Ah, bring new fans up to speed. That's very cool. That's kind of like what I'm doing here a little bit, at least with with Pokemon stuff. Because um, I really want to play through... I definitely wanted to play through like the first four third versions, if that makes any sense. I really wanted to do yellow, crystal, emerald, platinum. Um... Because even though Gen 2 is my personal favorite, I think that Emerald and Platinum are probably objectively the best Pokemon games. If, I, if I'm if i pressed, um, I, I would say they're probably the best ones. I don't know what you guys think, but I think Emerald and Platinum are, to me, objectively the best. But that's, for, you know, from an OG who's played, you know, the originals since they were a kid. Um... Emerald, you feel like, made you fall in love with Pokemon. Yeah, I, I totally get that. And that original Battle Frontier is just incredible. Um, but all this talk of the Red Gyarados makes me want to do this and show this off. Um, yes, I will definitely be playing Emerald on the channel soon. Um, but for the next thing we play, I'm gonna zag a little bit. I, I really, if people hate it, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll play some Pokemon stuff again. But I have a non-Pokemon game planned, uh, for the next playthrough that I'm really excited about. And it's a game that I love that maybe a lot of people haven't played. I'm sure there will be some overlap, um, between Pokemon fans and this next game I'm gonna play. Um, uh, but, uh... It's not, uh, it, it, it'll be a, a bit of a departure. But, you know, if people hate it, I'll play uh, another Pokemon game or I might, I might oscillate them. So far, I've just kind of been playing, like, straight through a game. And again, I'm new to it. So thank you guys for, for checking this out. This is really, really nice. Um, I am going to try to keep it a little bit of a secret. I want it to be more of a surprise for people um, <laughs> when I start it. Because I think it will just throw people for a loop in a fun way um but i will say i it was a big tv show and i think some fans of pokemon will be familiar with it for sure um so let's see when you fight the red gyarados you get the red scale and you can take it back to mr pokemon here if you recall huh that scale what's that a red gyarados that's rare i i want it <laughs> SCG, would you care to trade it? I can offer this EXP share. So that's how you get the EXP share in this game, which is a neat little fun fact. Um, always new discoveries should be made. Oh, Rocket Power. That's a great guess. <laughs> I did play a Rocket Power game for the PS1 um, when I was a young kid. Um, so that's how you get the experience share. What that does, you can put it on a Pokemon and it will give them experience even if they don't battle. Uh, oh, I know. I will give the Black Belt back to Rupert Grunt here, and I will give Skarmory that annual coin. That is lovely. Um, okay. It is not Rocket Power, though. Good guess. So we're going to go back to Blackthorn City. Um, I, tr I tend to like to keep the episodes around an hour or so, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, we're about 40 minutes in, so I am going to start in on Claire's Gym. And, ooh, not buy. Actually, I probably will buy something here in a second. But I'm going to sell this here, Max Repel. Because I like having Super Repels, because they're like a little bit better bang for your buck. Um, I need some Hyper Potions. Maybe some Super Potions if they got them. They don't have any. I'll just get a couple of these. Love to see it. Um, do I need more full heals? I'll buy more. There we go. 
My mom's got a ton of money. So this is interesting. I like this little lady here. A clan of trainers who can freely command dragons live right here in Blackthorn. As a result, there are many legends about dragons in this town. Which is pretty cool. Gives you a little lore on the town. A little Dratini in here as proof. There are dragons here. Um, so, one thing I love about Claire, I love her name. Um, because Claire is like a normal name, but it's like a dragon's lair. Claire. Dragon's Claire. Um, I think that's... Just a neat little pun. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna start in on some of these trainers. Oh yes, I I have not taught Pampras Icy Wind because Pampras actually learns the best ice move in the game at level 36. So, hmm, I don't know if Pampras is gonna get to 36 before we fight the gym. We'll see, I'm not too worried about it. Because we got to get tech some experience, and if we need to, we can always fight the trainer south of Blackthorn City where we picked up Skarmory. Let's see, your first battle against dragons, I'll show you how tough they are. And it really kind of is your first battle against dragons in this game. It's not like as extreme as Pokemon Yellow, or Red, Blue, and Yellow, where dragons are pretty much like a secret through the game. Like, you don't really even know about them until you fight Lance at the end. Um, and I talk about that little piece of game design a ton <laughs> in the playthrough that we did over there. Um, one annoying thing is I know that this Dratini knows Dragon Rage yet. I'm just going to try to use it. And, uh... Tech annoyingly has 78 HP. And Dragon Rage does 40 every time, which means two Dragon Rages, quick math, <laughs> would kill my Skarmory. So let's go into Rupert. Um, should be able to outspeed here. I think a Strength will do the trick. Perfect. Oh, I, you know, I have... <laughs> I've posted so many videos about loving this music so much. Oh, let's let Lucius get in on the action. Our new Espeon. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, oh, across all gens, do you have a specific Pokemon that when you play, you always have in your party? That is very interesting. I would say... It depends on the game. There are a lot of Pokemon that I favor, uh, depending on the game I'm playing, but I wouldn't say across all gens, because one thing that I definitely like to do is when I'm playing a specific game, nice flinch, I love to have Pokemon that are kind of like unique to that game. So when I play a Gen 2 game, I tend to like to use new Generation 2 Pokemon. When I play, you know, just a more extreme example, like Legends Arceus, like the new game uh, for the Switch, or the newish game for the Switch, I like to use, like, the new forms that they created specifically for that game. I just think, um, I don't know what that is, but I always like to use that game's new Pokemon, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's let Margo in on the action. Yeah, Tech is kind of out of commission, being paralyzed and one Dragon Rage away from dying. Fair enough. I absolutely... Do you have any? Um, but, like, there are some that overlap. Like, when I played Scarlet and Violet, I mean, it's kind of both, right? Because Dunsparce got a new evolution in Scarlet and Violet. But I was so happy to use it, uh, because Dunsparce is, is one of my favorites. Um, so I shouldn't say I never do it, but... I do tend to kind of use that game's... Oh, Gardevoir. If she's in, she's in there. I I am with you. I have played through Gen 3 so many times, and I have probably had a Gardevoir in half of my playthroughs. That is another one of my faves, faves of all time. Um, that might be one we use in our Gen 3 playthrough. I'll, uh, when I first started this one, I didn't have much of a plan... Um, but then my team kind of rounded into form. Uh, I really want to try to take the time to, when we do eventually get to Gen 3, uh, kind of plan out what my squad is going to be. 
and Gardevoir could very well be on it. I love Gardevoir. I love Glade, too. Glade's awesome. Um, and in the Ruby and Sapphire remakes, um, it's really, really cool when Wally has the Mega Glade. Um, and if you haven't played those games, that won't mean anything to you yet. But don't worry, I'll walk you through it. We will, we will play them soon enough. Ah, Twister is just like Gus, and you can flinch on Twister. Don't flinch me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, wow, that does nothing. Tech is a bit underleveled here. Uh, let's get into Rupert Grunt. Because our boy Rupert can kind of, yeah, just overpower some opponents. I don't really know when he's going to learn Mega Horn. But Mega Horn is a big new Gen 2 attack. Um, as you can see, we know Horn Attack, because he's got that big old horn. But Mega Horn is specifically a bug type move that I'm pretty sure in this game only Heracross learns. It's very powerful. Um, let's see. But he might not learn it for a while. And here we have a little bit of a strength puzzle. Nothing too crazy, though. All we gotta do is push this guy up here. Easy peasy. Because, as you saw when we first walked in, we gotta get through all that magma. I don't think we have to push this boulder all the way through. It's so funny, I've played this game so many times. I'm pretty sure I didn't even need to do that to advance through the gym puzzle, but I always do it anyway. I don't know why, I just always do it. Uh, I think we have about three more trainers in this gym. Um, ooh, do I have a favorite HM or TM? Um, I feel like a lot of people really enjoy Surf because it's like one of the HMs that is the most powerful one. And I, I guess I'd probably say Surf um, as far as HMs go, but TM. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. It depends on the game. I love, um, a couple come to mind. I love how in this game you can buy the elemental punches in the department store. I think that's really cool. Um, you can buy the TMs for them. I also love in Gen 1, dang it, with the twister. You catch me in the air. Um, I love how in Gen 1 you can, don't kill me, oh boy. You can give the person at the top of the department store the drinks, and they will give you the TMs for Tri Attack, Rock Slide, and Ice Beam. So cool. And like, that's like a secret thing you could totally miss. And Ice Beam is maybe the best move in the game, especially when you consider like Lance's right there at the end. Um, let's go into Lucius here. Oh, awesome. And I feel like Bite with, because uh, we have the King's Rock on Lucius. I feel like Bite, oh, that did not kill it. <laughs> I feel like Bite with the King's Rock is going to be a great combo for Lucius. But cannot wait till it learns Side Beam so we can get that stab. So, let's see. We're about 48 minutes in. We have a couple more battles. So as you can see here, we had to push those two boulders to progress. Um, I'm just gonna give Tech a Hyper Potion. We have a couple more battles. Um, probably not gonna fight Claire today. I'm just gonna clear her uh, gym trainers. Our levels probably aren't quite there yet. Um, so for the rest of this stream, I'll probably clear her gym trainers here. Um, I wanna, I wanna fight some of those traitors south of town where we caught Skarmory here. Um, oh, that is terrible. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. And it used Twister. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, uh, still. Tech is not hitting super hard right now. Again, we are a little bit behind, but... Oh, let's send in Lucius. You know why? Because Lucius can faint. I've spent this entire run through protecting Lucius. What a great critical hit. Ah, uh, and it's okay. 
Lucius, you did great. I don't have to worry about your friendship dropping anymore. <laughs> it is great. Um, Alright. Let's let Sanaiko try to finish this up. Because don't really have any good matchups in this gym. Because all the Pokemon are either Dragon or Water type. Great. Glad that finished it off. Do 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 do. Let's see here. Can do a full heal. There we go. Our team should have more than enough juice to finish this last trainer off. There we go. As you can see, there is Claire there. I love those little dragon statues that kind of flank her there. Oh, it's so cool. There's something about, and I mean, obviously, I'm biased and I'm nostalgic for it, but there's something about, like, the things that they could accomplish with, like, the limited hardware and limited kind of graphics of the Game Boy Color so that when they do something cool, it, like, feels extra cool because you knew it was hard for them to do. Um, oh, I love that miss. Um, I think that is exclusive to Generation 2, where Thunder Wave can just kind of, like, randomly miss because it's a status move. Oh. And then my luck. My luck was squandered. <laughs> With a miss of my own. It's okay. Oh, let's see if I can do one more fly before we... No dice. No dice. We'll let Rupert finish off this Dratini. This strength should do the trick. But yeah, knowing that the knowing the kind of graphical limitations that they had, it's really cool to see. Mm. Got a dragon there. Oh, also, I don't know if you guys have been following all the way through, but our girl Margot. Dunsparce is, like, a very usable Pokemon for this run, for this game. I feel like people don't really think about Dunsparce being good, but at least in Generation 2, this headbutt is mighty. It really is. And she a beefy girl. Like, she can take hits. Uh-oh, kind of glitching a little bit there. Um, nice critical hit there. Um, <laughs> where are these names coming from? <laughs> they are kind of random. It's usually just been people on stream just giving me naming suggestions, honestly. Um, there we go, Margot! Um, like, Sinai Quill was just someone being funny. I remember, uh, I don't, I don't remember what we were going to name Lapras, but it was a mix of... It was like Pete Sampras. People wanted to name Lapras Pete Sampras, so I just named him Pampras. <laughs> and just random crap like that. Um, and yeah, like I said, we just caught Tech. Tech is a, Tech is a follower here. Um, Tech's not here today, actually, but that's okay. Um, I think they usually pop in more during the weekdays. Um, so I'm going to pop over here. I am going to save my game. I'm going to heal the squad. Um, but yeah, folks, I feel like we are getting to a pretty decent stopping point here. Um, love that we were able to get into Claire's gym. Love that we were able to solidify the squad. Um, I really like this team. I think it, it really showcases a lot of what Crystal has to offer. Um, I know I need to play either Gold and Silver or their remakes because we got to do a playthrough with my boy Mareep. we got to do it at some point, and we will. But, that was a weird burp. <laughs> um, so I'm going to save the game here, and next time we're probably going to get into some of the trainers south of Blackthorn. We'll probably... Uh, got to get a Kryptonian, the team. Ah, yes. <laughs> um... But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Oh my gosh, this has been so great. Um, I've loved talking with you. Um, so yeah, next time we'll clear out some of those trainers. We'll get into Claire. We will get into kind of like hopefully starting our way toward the Pokemon League. Um, but with that, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for tuning in um, after the fact. Uh, make sure you can like or subscribe. And... 
I just am overjoyed to share my favorite games with you. I say it all the time, and that's really my goal here, so thank you. With that, enjoy your weekend. I will see y'all next time. It'll probably be Monday. And yes, thank you so much for being here. I hope you can catch more too. It's so, so great to have you. Um, and with that, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, kiddos.